Yes. Have you ever wondered why some females turn into killers? Um, you look at this woman and this woman, do they look like serial killers to you? Not um, at all. Yeah, one that looks like a little grandma. Um, when we are sick or not most vulnerable, we rely on doctors and nurses, people in the healthcare field to take care of us in our most vulnerable state. And it's rather chilling to realize that sometimes these people can turn them from caregivers to killers. This is the case with Jane Topton, with an angel of death who murdered many people in her care. Jane Topton was born in 1854. When she was about 17, she decided that she would become a nurse, and this is when her life as a serial killer started in 1885. This is Jane Topton, by the way. Um, between 1885 and 1890, Topton was known to murder an unknown number of people at two hospitals in Massachusetts. But then between 1891 and 1899, Tom also killed her landlord, her foster sister, and her friend, Maddie Davis. At the funeral of Maddie Davis, she was so convincing that she was sorry that she was dead that her family invited her to live with it. She then killed Maddie's eldest daughter, her grieving husband, and then her youngest daughter. She went back home and was finally arrested in 1902 and confessed the murders of 11 people and was con convicted but not found guilty for reasons of insanity. She was committed to the Taunton Insane Hospital. After her conviction, she told her lawyer that she killed more than 31 people. Jane Taunton stated later that she received a sexual thrill watching people die in her care. <laughs> this is from the serial killer timeline by Dr. Chris McNown. When you look at all the women, you're more than likely, you're more than likely not to see a killer. As this case, she's a little grandma. She looks like an experiment. She's sweet. But looks can be deceiving. Dorothea Putin was born in 1929. To the outside world, she was a white-haired lady helping others in a halfway house, which, lead, which led to her descent into the world series for based on her grade for moment. Her first victim was Ruth Monroe in 1982. She was murdered for the $6,000 in cash that was in her possession. In September of 1985, she killed her second victim, Everson, and then from 1987 to November 1988, Dorothea went on to kill seven more people in her care. She murdered all these people for their money, their social security checks. When she was finally arrested and sentenced to life in prison, she's only convicted of three of these murders. This is also from a serial killer timeline by Dr. Chris McNabb. When we are sick or animals vulnerable, the thought that a doctor or nurse could harm us is unsettling. As you can see, People who, should be able to who we should be able to trust can turn into killers for lust or greed. These women left in their wake vic many victims and many victims' families who are still grieving to this day. <coughs> While you should never judge a book by a cover, as the old saying goes, you should also be careful that looks don't deceive you just because she's a woman or looks like a grandma. And this is what happens if you do. Jane Topton used poison. Dorothea buried her victims in her backyard. And that is one of the victims in the Rockland class where she would also be head dead. And that is a little look into the world of female serial killer.